Hi everyone, Shabby Gamer here, and welcome to a brand new thing on my channel. This is going to be Fallout 4. I've been saying for quite a while I wanted to branch out and do a few other bits apart from just the 2K wrestling game, so this is going to be my first attempt. This is a game I've been looking forward to since they announced the release months and months ago. I've been really looking forward to this. This is the first time I've started the game up as well, so this is the first time I'm going to be seeing this action alongside you. I hope you all enjoyed it. And uh, well, let's get straight on with the action. Let's hit new. See what happens. Confirm new game. Yes. Plays before. I'm normally doing the wrestling game, so normally I'm uh, trying to make a show of it. But this is just going to be basically me reacting. And if you guys, of course, have any ideas or suggestions while I'm going along, I'm sure I'm going to mess things up. Everyone always does on these sort of things. So please let me know in the comments section below what I can do to improve on the next episode. Of course, I'm probably going to probably try and record quite a few of these up front here this evening. I've just got back from work today, and it was sat in my letterbox, so I'm going to go for it now. It's half past four. I anticipate on playing this for the next. And I'm going to be a little bit quiet now as we get into this starting little video. Oh, there it is. Fallout 4. I've been looking forward to this for so long. And like I said, I've wanted to do more stuff like this for a long time now, but... The 2K games have been taking up a lot of my time, and look how good those graphics are straight away. War. War never changes. In the year 1945, my great-great-grandfather, serving in the army, wondered when he'd get to go home to his wife and the son he'd never seen. He got his wish when the U.S. ended World War II by dropping atomic bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. The world awaited Armageddon. Instead, something miraculous happened. We began to use atomic energy not as a weapon, but as a nearly limitless source of power. People enjoyed luxuries once thought the realm of science fiction. Domestic robots, fusion-powered cars, portable computers. But then, in the 21st century, people awoke from the American dream. Years of consumption led to shortages of every major resource. The entire world unraveled. Peace became a distant memory. It is now the year 2077. We stand on the brink of total war. And I am afraid for myself, for my wife, for my infant son. Because if my time in the army taught me one thing, it's that war, war never changes. That's the line there. It's in every single one of their games, the Bethesda games, always. The last line of the opening sequence is, war never changes. Oh, am I, am I being born here? No. Ah, this is the opening sequence. Is this where you create your own character? War never changes. You're going to knock him dead at the Veterans Hall tonight, hon. You think? Absolutely. Now get ready and stop hogging the mirror. Right. Now I don't think I'm going to change too much here, really. Um... I want to do. I'll have a little play around, see what I can do. Oh, I can make him say yes. Are you happy the game has arrived? Yes. Um, I don't really know what I'm doing to the truth here. I was gonna try and give him a beard. There we go, facial hair. Um, I want something big and rugged and bushy. That's what we're looking for. Nice big long one. I'm gonna make it look like it has actually been uh, locked away for God knows how long in a vault when we finally start this game up. Straight flush looks interesting. 
I want like a big survivalist. Ah, doomsday preps. That's what we're going for. Sure, but I like the beard. And then uh, can we give him longer hair as well? Ooh. Should we go full Jesus? I think we should go full Jesus. We'll do that. We're going to go full Jesus. Hmm. This new haircut's really working for me. And I think that's all. I'll do that for now. So I'm going to not worry too much because there's a first person shoot. You don't often see your character anyway. So it's not like it's going to cause maser issues. Oh. The robot's just gone flying past. What's he up to? The graphics on cards with it's so much better. Can I take all this stuff now? New Coca Cola, ice cold. Looks like the milk got delivered. And he can't take anything yet. I'll have a quick look around because I know on the last game there was a bobblehead in the very, very first place you're in, in the vault, and I wonder whether that might be the same case with this house. Maybe there might be a bobblehead. Laying around somewhere that we do have to come back and get at some point. I did see in the opening little video, I'm not quite sure if anyone else saw that. It might have been before that I press record on actually. But, um. Oh, the baby's crying. It might have been, uh. I saw a bobblehead in one of the very opening places I think you go into, which is. Which is the garage we've all seen in the, uh. In the trailer. Here we see. There's the baby. Stop him crying. Now this will probably be a, a bit of a longer episode than uh, than what it's normally going to be in the series. This is just going to be the the opening one, just to get through all this opening stuff, uh, sort out all of our stats and things like that, and then we'll probably go and start exploring the wasteland in the very next video. But this will just be the the original stuff. As ah, we see the man at the door. Can you get that? That was quick answering, wasn't it? Good morning, Voltec calling. Voltec. Vault Tech, remind me again. Why, we're about you, sir, and helping secure your future. You see, Vault Tech is the foremost builder of state. So he's trying to set us a place in the vault. Fallout shelters. Vaults, if you will. Luxury accommodations where you can wait out the horrors of nuclear devastation. You can't begin to know how happy I am to finally speak with you. I've been trying for days. It's a matter of utmost urgency, I assure you. Okay. Um, urgency? What's so important? Why, nothing less than your entire future. If you haven't noticed, sir, this country has gone to heck in a handbasket. If you'll excuse my language. The big kaboom is... It's inevitable, I'm afraid. And coming sooner than you may think. If you catch my meaning. Now, I know you're a busy fellow, so I won't take up much of your time. Time being a, uh, hmm, a precious commodity. I'm here today to tell you that because of your family service to our country, you have been pre-selected for entrance into the local vault. That's nice of him. Vault 111. Vault 111. I got enough space. I'm busy. Go away, son. So let's go for enough space for us and the family. My entire family, right? Of course, of course. Miner's your robot, naturally. In fact, you're already cleared for entrance. It's just a matter of verifying some information. Don't want there to be any holdups in the unforeseen event of <laughs> total atomic annihilation. Uh, this is won't take but a moment. I think this is where we do some of our um, names and. Things like that and stuff like that. So let's just go straight into it. Let's press yes. Sure, let's do it. Splendid. Splendid. Now, uh, let's see. Right, this is an important part. Now, this is going to be our special distribution. I have been thinking about this quite a bit, and uh, I'm sure that by the time I finish putting these in, some of you guys might be shouting and screaming at me. Uh, basically, I'm somebody, when I play this game, I like to pick up a lot of crap. I like to carry everything I possibly can. And especially, we know on this year's game as well, with the uh, with the uh, the 
the modifications to weapons and armor, all that sort of crap that you pick up does become actually quite important. I was chatting to a guy earlier who said he's been watching a video on YouTube where somebody was uh, somebody was running around looking for pencils and they could not find pencils for love nor money because they needed the lead for something. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put strength up quite high to an 8, I think, to start things off. Uh, also, intelligence is something I want to look at. I've had a quick look through some of the stats and I think uh, intelligence, if you get to level 6, that opens up the more the more in-detail weapons and armor mods, and I really want to be playing around with these weapons and armor mods this year. I think that's going to be a great part of the game. Um, luck, I'm not really too bothered about. Agility, I want to have a little bit extra, because I do use VATS quite a bit. Charisma, I like having a bit of charisma, because it helps us um, sort of... It helps us get through the game a bit easier, and I think I might have added this up wrong, because I've got down on my piece of paper four in both of these, and obviously I'm not going to be able to get that. I can get four in one of them, um, I think I'm going to go for four in, oh, I think I'm going to go for four in endurance maybe for now, or perception, endurance or perception, let me just see if I've still got the web page open, right, so number four in endurance gives us chem resistance, and perception, no, I've got to go for perception, because that gives you, level four in perception gives you lockpick, and that's very important, so I think I'm going to go with that for now, of course we do get the, uh, we do get the um, the what call it a similar version of the of the uh, what was it called the intense training perk. So you can always increase all of your special stats all the way through the game. I think I don't think there's a label cap this year either. So you you can just keep leveling up, earning more perks, and you can just keep adding to these. So it's not a major problem to start with. But I think having eight in strength, so I can pick a lot of stuff up, and six in intelligence means we'll be able to start editing a lot of the weapons and the armor pretty early on. So that's going to be quite important for me. Uh, Name-wise as well, my name is actually Luke. So that's what we're going to go for. For those of you who don't know. Uh, okay, I'm pressing the wrong button here. How do I done? R2. Why is I2 done for? That's a bit of a strange one. I know they've, uh, they've kept a lot of the... They've recorded a lot of the most common names. So I wonder if Luke is actually on there. That'd be pretty good. Let's see. Wonderful. That's everything. Uh, just going to walk this over to the vault. Congratulations on being prepared for the future. Um, thanks again. Hey, it's peace of mind. That's worth a little paperwork, right? For you and Sean, no price is too high. Oh. <laughs> Good answer. I have my moments. She's not too bad, is she? Oh, let's go see the baby. Mr. Luke, Sean has been changed. He said my name. I'm sure he said my name then. Let's go and have a look then. How are the two most important men in my life? I think the baby's face is determined by what you pick in the mirror as well. Hey, how's my little guy? Much better now, huh? Listen, after breakfast, I was thinking we could head to the park for a bit. Weather should hold up. Uh, and do what? Sarcastic? Watch TV? Let's just go for sounds fun. Let's keep, like let's keep quite face in this. Uh, this let's play. You should come and see this. Codsworth, what's wrong? The robot is shouting for us. Let's run down there and. Followed by, yes. Followed by flashes, blinding flashes, sounds of explosions. We're uh, trying to get confirmation. What? We seem to have lost contact with say? our affiliate stations. I apologize, that's my phone got off in the background. That's, um, confirmed reports, I repeat, confirmed reports of nuclear detonations in New York and Pennsylvania. My God. Oh my God. We, we need to get to the vault. Now! I've got Sean. Let's go. Oh, I can run really quickly all of a sudden. Residents of Where is the vault? The vault is this way by the looks of it. Oh, wow, look at this. Oh, the graphics on this are beautiful. So much better. I've, I've been playing Fallout 3. I never really got on too much with New Vegas. Is she still be having with a baby? That's pretty important, I suppose. You go ahead. There we go. You go ahead. Well, not that far ahead. Come on. Come on. Hold on for me. Wait for me. Wait, neighbor, move out the way. That's a strange name, neighbor. Has a neighbor got a U in it? This is America, isn't it? Oh, 
Nora! Nora! I'm going in. You can't stop me. Oh, 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 okay, okay. We need to get in. We're on the list. Infant, adult male, adult female. Okay, go ahead. Thank you. Good luck. Right. Now don't run off and leave me this. Oh. What's going to happen to all those people outside We're the gate? They're going to get melted, love. They're going to get absolutely melted. Right, how do we get into the vault? Where is the vault? It's up around here, is it? There it is. The platform, in the center. So we've got to stand in the middle of this platform. Are you here, Nora? Come on. Almost there. We're going to be okay. Now, I'm sure we saw parts of this on the... Uh, we love you too. On the trailer, there it is. The bombs have landed. Hold on. Oh, we're just gonna be safe. Oh, look at that. That's timing. That is. That is timing. I thought we were goners then. I was like, this is a bloody short game. All you gotta do is run down the street, but we were saved. And my controller's going. Right, so now we know that we do get into the vault safely. I think when they when they did some of the early sort of release footage, they sort of made out that you died there. We made it. I'm sure they did, but okay. we're now safe inside the vault. Everyone please step off the elevator and proceed up the stairs in an orderly fashion. No need to worry, folks. We'll get everyone situated in your new home. Mr. Abel. Vault 111. A better future underground. So we just... Yes, up the stairs. Everything okay? It's we gonna be okay, right? A minute right? later. <sighs> Come on, move, Mr. Abel. You're not that Abel, are you? You're safe now. Everyone, just head up these stairs. And right, up the stairs we go. Come on, Nora. Oh, I better wait for you, shouldn't I? Please proceed in an orderly fashion. Ooh. It's a nice vault. It's a lot better than the... Uh, Vault 101 in four. Is it Vault 101? I've forgotten now. It's been that long in Fallout 3. God, Mr. Abel, you are so slow. Move. 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 Oh, you've jammed me in now. I'm, I'm cutting the line. Before we can take you further. Over there. Take a suit. Just step over to the table. Can I just. Can I just get in front of you? Uh. Thanks. There's my jumpsuit. Just follow the doctor here. He'll show you where to go. All right, you three. Follow me. Now we've got to follow the doctor. See? That's a nice pit boy you got there. The right there. You are you oh, just you're circling me? You just put around me in a circle. This is one of our most advanced facilities. Not that the others aren't great, mind you. Yeah, yeah, I can imagine. Yeah, it's, it's gone. Our home. Everything we have. Sir. My mother and father died. Yeah, this vault looks a lot better than the one in Fallout 3. It just looks and feels a lot more like it's an actual vault underground. The vault. In Fallout 3 just seemed a little bit... Just a few medical oh, I was going to say manufactured, but of course it's manufactured. Someone's made it, of course, but... Uh... What's this? Are these stasis pods? Is that like a red wolf thing? I'm not quite sure if that's a... Uh... If everyone knows what stasis pod is, sort of like a... Freezes you in time sort of thing. Step in here. Oh, decam decontamination pod. Okay. So it puts you in here and then... Takes away all the radiation, I should imagine. Contaminate and depressurize you before we head deeper in the vault. Just relax. Well, this is pretty scary. It's time for a whole new life. Resident secure. Hi. Occupant vitals normal. I've got a horrible feeling she's going to explode. Complete. In five, four. They're freezing us. Like I said, they're freezing us. We've been frozen. I knew it was some sort of freezing thingy majiggy. I knew it was some sort of freezy majig. What are we up to now? We're up to 19 minutes. That's not too bad for an episode so far. Like I said, we'll get out of the vault and then we'll call it that for a day and then we'll start exploring on our very next episode. Am I starting to defrost here by the looks of it? Actually, oh, so the wife and the baby still on the other side. This is the one. Oh. Open it. What 
What is happening here? Stealing the baby. Oh, fucking hell. Shit just got real. Shit just got real. I think I've started to understand the, uh, the storyline to this game already. Looks like I'm going to find my baby again. Well, that's a very interesting turn for the book. We're starting to understand a lot more of the storyline now. They they drip fed a little bit through some of the releases, but now it looks like we're finally getting to see <coughs> exactly what is going on. It looks like we're defrosted now as well. Oh, there we go. Let's let us out. It's allowed us out. The misses. Can we get her out? There has to be a release. Ah, it's not gonna let us get her out. Uh, what can we do? Can we activate any of these? God. Is he dead as well? I would not do this. Ooh. Fucking hell. They all look to be a little bit dead in there. I don't know whether they're just frozen or if they're all dead. Can I get out of here? Can go out of here. <coughs> I'm gonna just do a little bit of exploring. Probably not the best thing to do, I should imagine, but uh. Oh. Was that actually the right way? Ah, oh, that's actually the right way to go. Okay. There's me thinking I was going off on a tangent. That's actually the right way to go. And all. You can tell already I'm just looking for random pieces of stuff that I can pick up. As I said earlier on, that is how I like to play these games. I like to grab, oh, there's a rad roach. There's a rad roach. I don't have anything yet. What is this? A security baton. There we go. That's more like it. We are... Whoa. Wow, look at that. Killed the little bugger. We are completely armed up now. What the hell? Right, what is in here? Any more rad roaches? Doesn't look like it, but there is a beer bottle, a cup, a couple more beer bottles. I don't know if I should be picking these beer bottles up. I know they give us a bit of glass, maybe later on. Um, nothing in the fridge. Nothing over here. Nothing in there. If we go into here, what's in here? There must be something in a uh, around here somewhere. Everything just looks very uh, very empty. Where are we supposed to be going anyway? I'm just sorry, I just got a complete tangent. Like I said, I like to explore a lot in these games, and if that's the sort of thing you like, then of course I'm your man. I suppose I will be going mad on Fallout 4 over the next few days. I can promise you that. Whoa, that looks that looks a bit dangerous. Especially since we've got a metal baton in our hands. I think we could end up getting electrocuted if we go across there. So let's go round. That might be the safest way to go. Another rad roach. Bow. He dead. Press L2 to block. Okay. That's a new one. Come on, die. Where's our health? I'm not doing too bad. I'm getting a little bit worried there. We got hit a few times, but... Oh, a corpse. Activate skeleton. What happened here? Where is everyone? It's a clipboard. Don't need that. Let's go through the sliding doors. Another couple of rad roaches. One down. Two down. We'll take the rad roach meat, because that's pretty handy early on in the game, just for just for a bit of food. I know we're gonna struggle for food when we get outside. We're not very high level, so. It's going to be difficult killing anything big, I suppose. And here we are. And yes, we found ourselves a gun. That's better. And some stim packs as well, by the looks of it. Yep, stim packs. 
the very important starts of a of a wastelander. Is this all that's left? So we're activating the skeletons, but nothing's really happening. I'm going to take these glasses. I don't know why. I just feel like they might come important. Um, you know what? I'm going to take this clipboard as well. Does that computer work? The computer does work. Let's see if there's anything on here that will tell us what's going on. Cryolator. That looks important. I have long dreamed of making cryogenic freezing available in portable on-demand form. The cryolator is my latest attempt. Thankfully, when in no short supply of the chemicals and the components in need, I need to tinker with a prototype. It's a nice way to occupy the time as we wait for the all-clear signal. Now, that's what I was saying earlier on about the cryogenic sleep sort of chambers, sort of thing that allows you to live for years upon years upon years upon years. Uh, and then come back out exactly the same age as went in, really. Uh, open evacuation tunnel. We know that one pretty well from Fallout 3. Is that going to do it? Oh. I was expecting some like, big grand opening, but... Nothing in the dresser, nothing in that dresser. Nothing in these boxes. See, on Fallout 3, all of the, uh... Oh, there we go. See, that's why I look at all these different cupboards, because we found some rounds there. And a preserved cigarette packet. I'll have a bit of that. What's in here? Another pistol. And some more rounds. That's why it's important to dig around all these things. What is that? A cryolator case. Nice. Coming back later for you. That looks like an incredible weapon in there, I tell you. Well, I have to come back and get a bit of that. That looks amazing. Whoa, that looks bloody vicious. We'll have a bit of that when we get a bobby pin or two, I tell you. Hopefully we can come back into it at a later date, and that's just not some sort of a way of... Oh, there's a bobby pin in there. And a pencil and some pre-war money, so maybe I can get this out with the bobby pin. I need to be a, oh, I need to be a master lockpick. Gutted. Gutted. Uh, that's what we can obviously build towards later on in the game. I don't think Master Lockpick is going to be a very... Uh, wise... I didn't mean to do that. I meant to go... How do I change weapon? <coughs> so I know this is a bit of a waste of ammo. I think you're supposed to use blunt weapons for red roaches. And as you can see, my aim is not fantastic. Yeah, I'm sure you're supposed to use blunt weapons for uh, for rad roaches, but since I haven't got my pit bull yet, I'm not quite sure how to change my equipped weapon. Um, oh, that's shoot, of course. Ah, right, so I've got gun. I can butt my gun by using by using R. I can I can use it as a weapon that way. That might be better because I did just use a lot of uh, ammo there, just killing a few rad roaches, which is not not something that you ever want to do normally. I want to save that ammo up for something a bit more vicious and dangerous, I should imagine. Uh, nothing of any interest in here. Right, well, now let's test this theory out. There we go. Right, skeleton. Is anyone alive? Nope, you're dead Did as well. Anyone get out? Well, I thought I heard some voices then. There's another one. Whoa. <coughs> There's another skeleton over here. I'm just hoping one of these skeletons has something on there. There we go. Pit boy. You can take the pit boy away from this skeleton. I said it was going to be the doctor, didn't I? I'm sure that's the doctor. There it is, our brand new shiny pit boy. And that's why it's always important just to explore because I don't think the game was pointless that direction. The game was actually telling us to go around the corner. So we've found our pit boy now. Let's see it initialize up. There we go. Changing tabs. Let's, let's equip our security button for now. That's the quest we're on. Out of time. Uh, that's the map. And as you see, the map is pretty damn big. And we're right in the top corner this time, which is a bit interesting. Last time we started off right in the middle. So that's going to help us explore a bit more effectively, I suppose. If you're starting in one side 
And then you've got radio, which I'm probably going to try and stick off the radio because uh, if there's any music ones, it's going to cause issues. Vault door control. Yeah, if there's any music ones, it causes some problems with the um, with YouTube and the. Uh, I've forgotten the word now. Copyright issues. That's the word. Sorry, I was so. Uh, Intent on seeing this door open. Let's make sure we get a good view of it. That looks pretty cool this year as well. I keep saying this year, considering that Fallout 3 came out a huge amount of time ago. Of course, Fallout New Vegas came out in the middle. I, I've played New Vegas, but I never really got into it. That's probably something I can look at doing after we played this one. Once we've got through all of this one and really invested a hell of a lot of time in it, probably we'll look at start doing Fallout 3 again and maybe Fallout New Vegas. And I want to try and do Assassin's Creed at some point as well if time allows us. You see the sunlight. Was there another dub body right here? There was. You've got nothing on you. What's that? Some more rounds of ammo. And I think it's time for us to escape the vault. How do we get through? Oh, you can just walk through them. Okay. Here we go. The last time we saw this, we were coming down just after avoiding the atomic blast. The lift comes down. Oh, here goes the doors. We're going to be escaping the vault here at any second. Oh, come on. Let me through. Let me through. Let me through. We're there. Uh, nope. We're going to keep everyone of that the same way as it is. Seems to be working fine for us so far. Like I've said, there's many different ways of building your character depending on what sort of things you use. Like I said, I like to pick up a lot of crap and carry it around. Um, also, uh, I, I really want to try the uh, the weapons and armor mods. That's why I've gone high in intelligence and high on strength. Of course, we can build up our stats as we go along using the equivalent to the intense training perk anyway. So it's not the end of the world if we want to try and boost one or two of the stats up as we go along. I don't really want to waste our early leveling up points on that sort of thing, though. And here we are. There it is. The wasteland. Let's have a quick... I'm not going to move anywhere, just going to have a quick look around us. There looks to be a little settlement down there. There's something scary behind us by the looks of it. There's a red... Oh, no, there's a red mark on my... I don't know. I'm looking at the red mark on my... Um... Oh, there's a bird. There's birds in the game. I wonder if they're aggressive. Yeah, if you see on, the, um, on my HP bar, I saw that little red mark, and I was thinking there was some, some enemy near, but that's, uh, that's just my rads anyway. So it looks to be a settlement down there. That looks like where we're going. That's our quest to go down there. And that is what we're going to do in our very next episode. Like I said, we've escaped the vault. Next episode, we'll have another look around, see how much further we can get. And uh, yeah, that'd be great. So, of course, if you're not already, be sure to subscribe because we'll be uploading a lot of this over the next few days. Normal stuff as well. And, of course, if you have liked this video, make sure to hit that thumbs up button. To tell the truth, I love this game enough that I'm going to carry on making these videos either way. So it'd be absolutely great if I get the likes and the support alongside it, though. I've been Shabby Gamer. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you in the very next video.